Hey, once my froze, welcome back. Um, I am tired of doing my hair. I'm always tired of doing my hair. Um, but I'm taking a break from the knotless braids. And so I decided to do mini twists. And your girl's getting some length in the mini twist. So I'm just kidding. I'm using um, spring twist hair and I'm using it as like extensions to give my mini twist some length because you know I've done mini twist on my own hair and if you know you know mini twists are cute when your hair is a certain length and a certain density and I like to think that I have very high density until I put my hair in mini twists or like mini braids and then I'm reminded that it may not be as high as I think because it be looking real skimpy and then the twists be cute until my hair dries all the way and then they shrink up and they be super super short so they don't really be given what's meant to be gave but many twists are cute and I see all these pictures and I'm like oh I want to do it 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 but I know my hair is not gonna come like that so I was like you know there's gotta be a way so what did I do I YouTubed it, like everything else. I'm like, yeah, I typed in mini twist with adding hair. But I didn't want to do cro crochet. I don't like doing crochet. So what am I doing? Um, I've done a good portion of my hair so far. Um, I'm using this spring Rwanda. Um, I just got uh, an eight inches. Um, if your hair is a little longer, maybe you need more. I've only used one pack so far to get all of this, and I still have four pieces left of that one pack. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. My hair is parted. Um, and I guess I should have, you know, for the sake of this video, we're gonna move to this side. And I'm not parting my hair in any kind of way um, just because I don't feel like it. The only thing I have in my hair is obviously I sh freshly washed my hair and shampooed my hair. Um, but the only thing that I have in my hair is leave-in and I use the Camille Rose coconut water leave-in. Um, what I'm going to do is I separate the spring twist. And so I'm just going to kind of unravel it and take your time with this because you don't want it to like get mat, uh, matted up so if you kind of like rush it will kind of like mat up and then just make sure you break the ends first and just kind of separate the ends it'll make it just a little bit easier to separate so then when I got that and from this piece right here I can do about four to five twist now we want this to look super natural so i'm doing it the same about the same size that i would do if i was to do like my normal mini twist and i'm taking you know i'm just eyeballing it there's no real measurements here so i'm taking about this much of that four like i said i can get about four pieces from it and then what i start to do is i start to just braid about one or two times and then just feed this in you're gonna have to know how to do a little feed in but i find that this is actually really easy so it's not like so if you do like trying to do knotless braids then braid it down a little bit more just add that piece of hair that you have and just twist it and that's all you do now this piece is going to be a lot longer um, we're going for the, a natural look and if I was to twist this all the way down, my hair is not that long. Um, so I cut it. Um, and when I cut it, it's not really unraveling, which I was worried about. But if I see that it feels to like, look like it's going to unravel, I kind of use my finger to mush it together. You just do, and you don't have to braid it all the way down because we're going to cut it. So just braid it enough where you can like give yourself room to cut and make sure you're not cutting your real hair because um, that will defeat the purpose. 
this is taking me, I started at like six o'clock. It's like 9.30. So I feel like, I feel like I would have been done with mini twists on my own if I just did my own hair, but I obviously add in the hair is slowing me down a little bit. Uh, but it's not taking as long as I thought it would take. Um, so I'm not too, too mad about it. I'm just braiding. And I figured I will do mini twists because I feel like mini twists will give a give me a good break for my hair. But won't be as much tension as like braids. And I don't know how much is going. I'm not doing, I'm really not doing it that tight. Um, maybe I should, but yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if I said this, but my parts and stuff are not perfect, especially in the back. Um, but it's going to get the job done. It's going to get the job done. Do, 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 do. And I'm just going to keep twisting my hair like this. Um, once I finish, I'll come back and kind of show you guys the final look but I'm gonna film I'm gonna flip my camera around and I'm gonna film the same thing because I'm really trying to make content this year even though my issue isn't that I don't make content my issue is that I don't edit content um, but I'm trying to do better I'm not so now that we have these three i am going to try to i want them to fall kind of like where the bottom layer of this is falling but also at the same time i'm making sure i am cutting my hair so you can kind of see where my hair is and where my hair isn't i think it's very clear um, so i'm gonna cut about right here and it's gonna shrink up a little bit so I'm gonna cut about right here, and this is gonna help me decide where to cut the rest of the pieces. Because we want it to look natural, and you know, your hair doesn't naturally, well, at least my hair. So then this is what I do, because sometimes towards the end, it starts to unravel. So then I kind of just do this. And it's basically not some together. Um, at least I think it does. But once I finish, I'll go in with some foam wrap. But that's basically what I do. And then I'm just going to continue to do this side. And I'm going to line up those twists with the rest of my hair. Because I wanted to see, I want it to be pretty even with this. So that it looks like a natural little ball. A natural little ball. So this is my hair finish. And it is looking really good right now and it's looking very very natural so i'm not mad but you know i just finished and so we're gonna make it look a little neater so i'm gonna come in with some foaming mousse we're just gonna put that on my roots to tie it down i'm also um we'll find out in the morning if like my ends don't unravel i have a feeling they will unravel if i don't like wrap my hair every night so i am going to make sure that i do that but i think by doing this will be fine and i think if i don't like i don't know i think with more wear it will tangle um so it won't come undone we'll see right now it's doing what i need if this can last three weeks i'll be happy because i only use like a pack and a half and honestly i could probably have done bigger sections um to probably do less and i feel i definitely have more on this side of my hair um and definitely more on the back and i probably could have done less but it is what it is, but these are, these are cute. These are cute. This is like the first time I've been excited about a natural hairstyle in life. If only my real hair 
twist like this, I probably would never wear it out. Oh, and I can do little styles like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Um, this also took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, started at like six. It's, I think, 11 now. Um, so, you know, it took a little minute, but we're here. We're here and it's worth it. So, yeah. Um, until next time, I will link everything down below that I used um, in the comments. And if I can find the Amazon link, I'll leave the Amazon link to that hair just in case you can't get it at your local beauty supply store. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.